Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll review this full body screen protective case for Fitbit Versa 2. So let's get into it. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular reviews for various smartwatches and its accessories like this one, smartphone reviews, software reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist app to find curated playlists for various content we post on this channel where you'll find a playlist exclusively for Fitbit Versa 2 with 76 plus videos. So be sure to check it out. Okay, so I got this K1 screen protective case for Fitbit Versa 2 from Amazon for less than 10 Canadian dollars. And to top it up, it came in a pack of two. FYI guys, I'm not the seller and I wasn't endorsed by any means to do this review. It's just my personal honest opinion. Now, this case comes in a multitude of colors that you can choose from as shown in this image. I got the rose gold and the black as the rose gold will match the body of my Versa 2. I have done a lot of reviews for various smartwatches with such full body screen protective case like this Active 2 case, the Active 1st generation case and many more. You will find the direct link to purchase these case with the discounted price in the description of this video so be sure to check it out. It was shipped in such a plastic ziplock bag so I would say nothing special in terms of unboxing. However, they were kind enough to throw a styrofoam cutout to pack the case up. Now let's start by showing you how to apply it on slash off which is the primary reason why I prefer such case versus any other case as shown over here. You don't even have to take off the belt like you would in this case over here which will be so annoying especially when taking off the wristband for Versa 2 is not at all easy. Anyways if you guys are struggling to take the band off I have done a separate video for the simplest trick to take the band off in one second linked up here in case if you guys want to check it out once you're done watching this one. Now to apply the case on all you have to do is align the button side first and just push the opposite side downwards until it snaps on. Now don't you worry it will not scratch the body of your Versa 2 as it's made from soft TPU silicon material. To take it off just pull it off from either of the side and it will just pop out. It's as simple as that. Let me show it to you guys few more times. Unlike the case as shown over here or the bezel as shown over here, you can see obviously that it will protect the screen of the Versa 2 from scratches, fall or impact as it surrounds the body as well as the screen, which in my opinion is really important. Another thing that I noticed is the button is covered up as you can see here which will protect from dust and debris building up around the button. There is a precise cutout for the microphone so your commands to Alexa will not be hampered. By the way guys I have done a video review for Amazon Alexa on Versa 2 that is linked up here. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. The contours of Versa 2 matches up exactly to the case um, so it does look awesome. The screen protector has a dotted pattern, let me show it up to you. This dotted pattern prevents the screen from sticking up to the case without affecting the touch sensitivity which is really cool. Speaking of touch sensitivity, I would say it's really flawless. I have no issues with touch sensitivity whatsoever as you can see here. The bulge around the button is also quite functional and registers the click almost every single time.
At the back, the case tapers down to the center glass panel which houses all the sensors and the case as you can see here is lower than the central panel. So that being said, the case really does not affect the fitness monitoring and the case even looks great from the back. Now that's a lot of good stuff about this case but in my opinion this case also comes with some downside starting off with the size which you can obviously see that it's it's bulky unlike the bezel which is slim and stylish. So keep in mind that this case will bulk up the looks. Let me show you the watch on my wrist with the case on and with the case off so you guys can have a relative idea of what to expect. Another thing I noticed that it does not fit the proprietary charging brick of Versa 2. Let me show it to you. So you definitely have to take it off to charge it. But hey, as I showed you earlier, it's really easy to snap it off for a quick charge. Unlike this case where you have to remove the wristband from both sides, then remove the case to charge your watch, which will be a bummer. However, I think the proprietary charging brick is designed in a way that you have to take pretty much any case off to charge your watch. Unless you get a third party charging brick like this EXO bumper charging brick which is linked in the description in case if you guys really have to get it. I have also noticed that when you exercise or go for a swim, the water and the sweat sometimes get in between the screen and the, ca in, in, in the case creating a layer of unresponsiveness which is not that often with exercise so don't take it for granted that it will happen with the exercise but it may happen sometimes. So apart from these downsides, this case in my opinion is really a great way to make sure that your Versa 2 lives longer. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a, th a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.